In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, to fellow redeemed by the blood of Christ. Can you imagine driving down a road without signs? It'd be quite difficult, right? Without signs, you wouldn't know what road you're on. Without signs, you wouldn't know where to turn. Without signs, you wouldn't know when to go, when to stop, how fast to go, or what other traffic laws to obey. Yes, it'd be quite difficult driving without signs. Even in this GPS age, signs are important. And so when the angel told the shepherds, I'm giving you a sign, we should stop and immediately pay attention to what sign the angel was giving to the shepherds, because signs are important. And so what was the sign that the angel gave to the shepherds? Well, after telling the shepherds not to be afraid, even though they're in the presence of a holy angel, because Christ, the Savior of the world, has been born, the angel said these words. He said, this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And do you ever wonder why that was the sign that the angel gave to the shepherds? Well, I suppose there's two answers to that question. First, and most obviously, the angel gave that sign to the shepherds so that the shepherds would know which baby is the Christ, the Son of God, the Savior of the world. For I would imagine in Bethlehem at this time there were a couple of babies, right? Especially since there was that census and there was no room in the inn. So lest the shepherds be confused about which baby is the Christ, the Savior of the world, the angel gave the shepherds a very clear sign. He's the baby who's wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. That's the first reason why the angel gave the shepherds a sign. But it's not the only reason. For if that were the only reason of why the angel gave the shepherds a sign, just so that they would know which baby is the Christ, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, then we'd have to ask the question, why is this recorded for us today? We're not traveling to Bethlehem, and even if we did, Jesus is no longer there wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And so if the scriptures record this sign for us to read today, there has to be another reason, a reason that's relevant to us of why the angels gave the shepherd this particular sign. And so what is that reason? It was to teach the shepherds and us exactly why this baby was born. Think about it. This is not the only time that Jesus would be wrapped in these swaddling cloths. Do you remember the other time he was wrapped? It was at his burial. After they took him down from the cross, they wrapped him in strips of linen, which are the same as swaddling cloths, and placed them in the tomb. And so this sign of swaddling cloths isn't just a random sign, but it teaches us that this baby came to, bo to die and be buried. And the manger gives us a wonderful picture too. Do you know what a manger is? A manger is a feeding trough for animals. It's where animals go to eat so that they can receive life. And that too is a beautiful picture of what this baby would do. He is the one who gives us life. Do you see the importance of this sign of swaddling cloths and lying in a manger? Importance for us today? It teaches us that this baby was born to die so that we through him might live forever. That's the sign of the swaddling cloths, death and burial, and the manger, life. This baby is born to die so that we can live in fact, that's the whole reason why the Savior was born, the whole reason why the Christ came into the world, the whole reason why the Son of God became a human being. 
It was all to die in your place and in my place to take away all our sins so that we, through his death, might live forever. That's the sign of the swaddling claws and lying in a manger. And so is it any wonder that the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God? Not only were they sure that they saw the Christ child, but they also confessed what he was sent to do, die for them, and open up heaven for them. And is it any wonder why you are filled with so much peace and joy right now? It's not just because your kids or grandkids did a great job, but they did. And it's not just because you have a couple of days off of work and get to spend time with family as good as that is. But you are at peace and so full of joy right now for the same reasons the shepherds were. You know that this baby was born to die for you so that you, through the death of your Savior, might be worthy enough to live forever in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue by singing our next hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. 